All right. Let me record this uh, review here. Peanuts movie. When I saw this, I just kind of like most people, I was just like, you know, this is probably going to be some dumb sellout of something that's good and didn't look very good. And I just, I don't know. There was nothing to the trailers that made me interested in this movie. I I think I saw this in the theaters. I know I saw it in a theater, but I don't know if it was like the normal theater or went to a dollar theater because those did exist in my area at the time. Point is, I did see it. And it was okay. I remember it being okay. I hadn't watched it since it came out. Maybe I watched it once or twice. But I seen it on Black Friday for like four bucks. I'm like, okay, I don't need this movie on 4K. And this movie's four dollars. And it's just like, you know, I thought the movie was okay, but it's four dollars. So let's just grab it. So I grabbed it. I need to get some of the other Peanuts like movies and uh, specials and things. I love the Peanuts. Um, I actually do read the comics and things. The Peanuts have always been short. You know, they started out as shorts, then they got more hour-length movies and kind of specials and things. And I've, I've never liked the movies, like, the Come Home Snoopy or whatever, crap like that, things like that. I didn't like any of those because they were too long. And so that's another reason I wasn't excited for this movie. It's like it's a movie. And I've always said, if you're going to adapt something, why adapt something like How the Grinch Stole Christmas or Horton Hears a Who or The Peanuts? Something that is a short. Don't make that a movie. Just don't. And in this case, this movie wasn't horrible. Everyone is like, yeah, this is a really good movie. I'm like, no, it's really not. It's okay. I, I think... This movie is significantly overhyped, and there's a reason this movie didn't do that amazing at the box office. Uh, I mean, because who wants to watch something that's meant to be a short in a theater? Who wants to do that? Apparently not many people. What's this film about? Oh, Charlie Brown has a crush on the little redhead girl, and so now he's trying to ask her out and things. And then you got Snoopy, who's trying to face the Red Baron. These are all two different side plots that that are shorts and i don't think and they're not made to be a movie and so they should have been a movie and i know that this is a very popular brand and and a feature film was inevitable but why why would we do this i mean because there's better ways to capitalize on this brand than make a movie you can make a new series which they have done in shorts you know, I know they. I think they just put out a new one, I believe, on some Apple streaming service or whatever. I haven't watched it because I, I, you know, there's only so many streaming services that honestly you should get. Um, but this is interesting. Uh, the, the animation style is one that a lot of people like. I don't like it all that much. I think it's okay. But my problem is, like, a lot of the movements are way too slow. That is sometimes distracting. And it's still something that was 2D animated, animated in 3D. And it still doesn't look as good as it would work, look as if it was animated 2D. I mean, the Christmas special and the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and things like that. Those still look, to this day, amazing. I, I mean, those were made, like, in the 60s and in the 70s and things like that. So a lot of those shorts still look gorgeous. But this is just, like, it looks okay. It looks fine. It's just, I'm not amazed by this art style. I mean, I, I don't like it something. I'm tired of things that were 2D animated, now animated in 3D, or called live action like The Lion King and the crap like that. I just want, like, animation. That's why I watch animation. I want it to be animated in the way it's supposed to be animated. Not whatever corporate executive decided, you know what, we can't do that for whatever reason. This is a good, this is a, you know, a lot of people call this like a good representation of what the Peanuts is. And like, it's a great adaptation of that. I don't think it is. Because a lot of the best peanut stuff for me was like the Christmas special and the uh, Halloween special. But the best part about those specials is that they were, they had, you know, they weren't deep, but there was a lot of quieter moments and just watching stuff. Of course, those things were made in the 60s and 70s, so we'll never get something like that again. 
and that's my problem with this. This isn't that. This isn't those uh, shorts that had the quieter moments and still kind of the goofier, little bit cheesier moments and things like that. This is a fun, okay movie, but it isn't a perfect representation of the Peanuts. The Peanuts had quieter moments. It would stop. It would just stop and look at the atmosphere, like in the Halloween one and in the Christmas one, and it was a lot quieter and simpler. There's nothing special to the Peanuts, but that's what makes them special. Is it's just simple. It's a simple character, simple ideas. There's nothing deep or profound about them. You can't make them into a movie. It shouldn't have been done. You can't animate them in 3D. It shouldn't have been done. And you can't capture the atmosphere that it came out in the 60s. Because it can't be done. We'll see what happens if they ever make Peanuts 2. It doesn't look to me like they're going to because Blue Sky was uh, a company owned by Fox and they were bought by Fox. And there have been no... And their Ice Age movies, uh, their last one bombed. And they got Spies in Disguise coming out and that doesn't look to be up to make that much money, honestly. So we'll see what happens there. Um, I'm personally done with this company honestly i don't think they'll ever make a good movie real was okay the peanuts movie was okay the first ice age was actually great i really love that one but that's the only good movie they made and that was the first movie that made ice age 2 ugh, terrible ice age 3 slightly less terrible but still terrible ice age 4 terrible ice age 5 extremely terrible and then you got robots which is just like a whole mess of whatever epic I don't even know what to say about Epic. Real 1 and 2 are just terrible. So, you know. And Spies in the Skies also looks terrible. And Ferdinand is terrible. Honestly, one of the worst animated movies I've seen of the past decade, honestly. I don't know why that was nominated for Best Animated Feature. I, I don't know why so many people defend it. Like, it's okay, it's not that bad. No, it's pretty bad the twerking bowls and crap and just oh my gosh i hate that movie but yeah that's the peanuts movie so yeah i i love this new background um that poster i told you it's hung up there and you can see everything really nice it looks really nice here um they're gonna there's and then so i took i think in, let me slide over a little bit so you can kind of see that wall there that wall, there used to be a smaller shelf. Well, I'm going to put uh, either this. Here, let me slide this. I'm going to put either this really big Jojo Rabbit one, which probably I won't do because how big it is, or Abominable, which I actually really liked Abominable. I think it's one of DreamWorks' best animated films of the past 20 years, maybe. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. I really love that movie. I mean, Prince of Egypt is up there. Shrek 1 and 2 are up there. How to Train Dragon 1 and 2 are up there. I don't know about 3. I kind of didn't like 3 all that much. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. But I like because you can see a little bit of what's in the cabinet there. And you can kind of see all the stuff sitting there. It looks really nice. And you... You can kind of zoom in and see the stuff in the background. Of course, this shelf is going to be cleaned up and I'll, I'll, there'll probably be a shelf for like my board games and books and then we'll slide the CDs and movies over on to the other thing. And that roller thing will slide somewhere else. Maybe go back in the closet after I clean out that hot mess of... Because, <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm working on that too. Uh, I got Star... I got, you know... And you can see a lot of my Star Wars figures on that shelf because up there, at the top row is only Star Wars figures. And then the second row, there's Sabrina the Teenage Witch Pop, which I don't know if you can see that, but that's there. Uh, for some reason, she doesn't stand on her stand very well, so I have her sitting there in that cab, uh, right on that shelf, because it kind of holds her up a little bit. And yeah, this is my little garbage can. I don't know why I'm holding this. And then you got Chewbacca, and then the little plushies, and then you can see everything there. I really like this background. I think this is a good spot for my desk. I'm going to keep it here. Um, and it's just nice and because the way 
I record there the light would shine too much from the window and now it does shine but it's not as bad and it's less like ugh, I can't see your face because it's shining and the reflection of the light it's horrible lighting so this is a lot better a lot cleaner and I just and if I need to grab like one of my pops figures I can just grab it right here and put it here uh, and show you it because they're all right here but pretty much except for like the ones over there which there's only like what one over there so you know I got all my Star Wars ones here I got all kinds of stuff um so you know it's it's really nice it's really easy to do hi Oscar Oscar shut up yeah he's laying right here watching me record videos that's what he's doing so, you know, it, it looks really nice that way. I really like this. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is, is, is um, kind of see the door, and that's just a weird angle, and I don't like that. So I'm going to probably just turn it like that and then keep it like that. You still see a weird door, and I, I don't like that. I don't like that whatsoever, but, you know, it's, it's fine. We, I'm going to do a video later this evening and you guys will see some stuff that I got for Christmas from my grandparents and stuff. And I'll be doing that video. Um, tomorrow I'll be seeing Star Wars uh, Rise of Skywalker again, which I'm pretty excited to see, check out that movie again. Because like I said, really enjoyed that movie. I made like three, maybe five videos on that some, uh, now. It's, I made quite a bit of videos. I have all the Star Wars movies reviewed. So I was very excited to have all that done. And I've just been uh, relaxing now because uh, that was very tiring to do. And so next time when I do that, I'm going to start at the, like, if I was going to do that, I need to start at a couple months. Because, like, Lord of the Rings, I'm going to start it and I'm not going to have, like, a date. I'm going to finish it from now on. You know, because Lord of the Rings is a lot easier also because I don't, um, it's not like, oh, well, there's the new Star Wars movie. I've got to have all these reviews out before this one. It'll just be like I can finish that and be done. So... That's what I plan to do. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. For all these uh, videos coming up. And I gotta finish some other movies and shows. I'm almost finished with Simpsons Season 3. Uh, I'm just like one more episode. And then I can roll record my review of that. And so I'm pretty excited to do all that. But yeah.